sing, all ye citizens of heaven above. Okay, so... Simon loves cinnamon rolls on Christmas Day, but since we're not here on Christmas Day... Well, we are. We just decided to... Oh, drink. right. And we got some fun international breads. But Gerald and I got said, international breads. We got brioche with vanilla cream. We got brioche <laughs> with chocolate chips. We got a chocolate chip bread. How can you not like this stuff? I think Simon will like it, but he said he fears change. <laughs> and he really, he really doesn't want to break from tradition. He's more like his father than he will ever, oh, ever, ever want yes, to admit. He so, he likes cinnamon rolls on Christmas morning. So, I went last night to go buy cinnamon rolls with Rowan. That's when we were singing the Christmas song at the end of the vlog. But they were out of cinnamon rolls except for microwave cinnamon rolls. That's alarming. Rumor has it, you can put one roll in the, in the microwave for 60 seconds and you've got cinnamon rolls. So, kids, we're doing it. Here we go. Are you ready? That's insane. Rhodes, what have you done? Holy cow. That thing is huge. Like, here's a comparison. It went from that to that. Oh my good gravy. Like, that's not messing around. I don't know what kind of food science that is. Ew, that's food, look. that's food dark magic. Okay, so, squeeze this <laughs> over the top of the hot roll. This is not going as well as I had hoped. Food magic. Moment of truth. Ow! Plate's hot. <laughs> okay. Seems to have good consistency. It smells like a cinnamon roll. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Did you, was it really that bad that you had to spit it it's out? It's still doughy. Oh, <gasps> delicious. <laughs> Here, you take a bite. Oh, it's horribly doughy. It's raw, it's raw. 60 seconds is not enough. Those are not done. What about the outside? Well, I had an outside. Hmm. Oh. oh, I love it. I'll eat it. Oh, quit spitting it out. <laughs> that is nasty. Totally wrong. No, okay, here's the deal. All right, you have some pieces, you have a bite, and then I'm gonna put it back in and see what it does. Okay. All right. Oh, that looks better. The crumb is better, as <laughs> the great British baking show would say. The crumb, see right there, the airs? The crumb is better. It's not crumb. Crumb? <laughs> well, this is a yeasty bread. Yeasty breads don't have crumb. Or do they? I don't know. Tens who are bakers, do yeasty breads have crumbs? Yeah, I think so. Okay, this okay, this feels a lot better to me. Much better. Consistency. Hmm. One bite. Did it didn't get rubbery? Did you know our the It's mm. a better consistency. So that's yeah. one minute fifteen. The sausage biscuits we make get rubbery. Yeah, they do. I'm kind of ashamed of the fact that we cook things in the microwave, but here's the deal. It's pretty amazing. When your family is so big that you're not referred to as a family, but as a murder, <laughs> you gotta do things sometimes. And one of those things, is you gotta microwave stuff. 
I don't understand how that goes, how, what the correlation is. Well, it's just convenience. Oh. But I'm not going to fall so far from the culinary tree that I think that these are okay. These are passable on a day when all the other rolls are gone. For a kid who likes them. Here's the deal. I'm going to put these in a freezer Ziploc bag. He's going to be the only one that eats them. Not this morning. Other people want them. <laughs> okay, so the whole reason we bought cinnamon rolls was for dear sweet Simon, yep. who loves himself some cinnamon rolls on Christmas morning. But since we're leaving, anyway, Simon is about to eat the cinnamon roll. We're about to get it raw, right here. Breaking news, Simon eats a microwave cinnamon roll. What do you think, Simon? What do you think? What do you think? Is it the best or is it the worst? It's not the best or the worst. What? Just... How are you a child of mine and not prone to extremes? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh it up, fuzzballs. <laughs> Random Star Wars reference. <laughs> diehard diehard fans you don't know nothing about Christmas you know nothing about Christmas movies this is a Christmas movie this is the best Christmas movie ever we are on our way to church for Christmas Eve service first few years after I left this congregation my family my family attends the congregation where I used to be the pastor. In the first few years after we left, it was really uncomfortable, to be quite honest. But it's not really that way anymore. I am back often enough, and the pastor is really nice. It's not really an issue, which is kind of great. It's kind of great. or the Magi. They have lots of names, don't they? And they were people from far away. They were far from the East. And they're so smart, so wise. And one thing that they're really wise about were the stars. I don't know if you guys know people who are really smart about stars. But they knew, they had maps of the stars. They knew what stars were supposed to be in what place at what time. And so they could tell people when they should cross over mountains and there wouldn't be a lot of snow and they could tell when to plant crops. People even thought they were magic, which is where we get their name Magi. But you know what? One day there was a wild star. This was not a star that was on their maps. This was a star that just showed up. part of Christmas for us is going to our friend's house for a party. We're only going to stay for a little while this year because we are leaving tomorrow morning and so we're opening presents tonight so it's not going to be long which is unfortunate because we enjoy it.
Christmas Eve present opening was a smashing success, if I do say so myself. The boys were very thoughtful in the gifts that they gave to each other and to Gerilyn and I. They loved the gifts that we got for them. Uh, it really made all the anxiety about gift giving worth it to me. You know, watching these little boys be really excited. Rowan's new bike. He loved his coloring book. Simon got his action, his WWE action figure, that his new day guy. That's his favorite WWE character ever. Ian was stoked about his grooming kit. What? It was just, it was a good day. I'm really excited. Um, and I, and, and I kind of like this opening presents on Christmas Eve thing. This is kind of nice. I think I want to do this again. So now I got to take the recycling to the recycling bin because, well, you know, we're responsible Americans. We recycle.